Hello guys, welcome back. Konbanwa. Herzlich willkommen. Yeah guys, I give you here an update on Faraday Future. Uh, the ticker is FFIE. I made a couple of videos here on my channel and uh, predicted here a lot of squeezes for this ticker. But now we had here a different situation guys. We had here the situation or still have the situation. It's not over yet that Faraday Future could get delisted today or tomorrow or that the, the listing advice comes today or tomorrow guys. So I will give you here the updates on the chart. You can see we had here an all time low at 3 cents, 3 cents 80. And now guys, we trading here. You can see the volatility here in the pre-market, but we trading now here in the 60 cent range. So this is an absolute massive, massive squeeze. It was of course, uh, it was almost uh, or every, every time the same that we had the squeezes here. You can see my previous videos. I predicted here already three squeezes here for far the future, but this is by far the biggest one guys, everything what I say here, not a financial advice, look at the volatility here guys, this is absolute crazy. I will also explain you why we have that here. And uh, yeah, let's start with the video. So first of all guys, what we need to know, yeah, this is very dangerous and that is what the market makers use guys, yeah. We have this SEC filing here and you can see that, that they have here, uh, of course, Far the Future received uh, several of the listing notices here from the NASDAQ and normally they should get delisted 15 days after the 1st of May. So on the, at the 15th or 16th of May, they should get delisted if the hearing panel, the NASDAQ hearing panel is not giving them any kind of, yeah, um, extend, extension, let's call it like that. Yeah, so I mean, even if they don't get delisted here, that looks not good for the company guys. Yeah, they still have to struggle. They have to regain $1. They have to regain here at least 35 million market capital and so on. But for now, guys, so that is possible that we will get or that far the future will get delisted tomorrow. I cannot uh, confirm that yet, but I still want to make here in video to uh, explain that price action for you. Yeah, guys. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, I will enable the drawings right now. So we don't need the indicators for a second. So I always said that we have here two significant price levels in the chart. Uh, one of the first resistance level, but this was here very temporary resistance was 20 cents to white line here. As you know, I never touch or change my charts. The next one was 30 cents and you can see yesterday we had here a massive, massive pump, 367. It was of course even more in the um, four hours chart here. I'll show you that, but we had here 367% pump and we exactly hit here the 30 cent range and got rejected. I said in my previous video, yeah, that is very, very dangerous to trade. Uh, but I said also that we left here the trend channel. So that is the first time since I think it was here January 2024. The first time that we left the trend channel here. This is of course in favor for the uh, algos or in favor for a squeeze. Also I showed in my previous videos that I, if I expect a squeeze, if something like that happen, of course I was very bearish on Faraday Future since the this announcement here, guys. So this is just gambling, right? When you when you have a broker who is um, supporting OTC trading, or if you are a long a backholder here for the stock, it's a different story. But you know, just to to step in and hope that it not get delisted, guys, is very very risky. The market makers knew that, and that's why they can manipulate the price. You can see the box where I calculated the next squeeze was this one here, and you can see, guys, exactly one day later, one day after we left this blue box. The squeeze started guys. So that's why I say this is nothing, um, you know, what was not predictable, but the, the, the size guys, the, the strength of this squeeze that this is, or even me, also I'm, I have, you know, for me, it's nothing special anymore. When I see here two, 300% squeezes, I mean, I'm happy when that happens, but uh, this is nothing special anymore. But this one here guys is now a real big one. You can also see uh, in the time range where I calculated the, uh, the uh, breakout zone for the next squeeze. This is, as I said, everything based here on algos. Uh, then you can also see that we had exactly the all time low one day before we entered here this blue box. So this candle here was the all time low. So the, the algo snapped already in here. You can see retested here uh, the bottom one more time, but the all time low was exactly here one day before we hit here this blue box guys. And just one day later, we started to squeeze. So my calculation was just, I missed it just by one day guys. So I was almost here on point. But now guys, the thing is <laughs> we have here, we have here a small squeeze for Faraday Future and everybody who is still in the stock, everybody who bought here in the four cent range and took that risk guys, congratulations. I'm very, very happy for you guys. Yeah, that this is, uh, this is a real, real big squeeze right now. So we measure that now here from 380 
that was the breakout zone here. I tried to catch it almost perfect here. So if we consider the, the pre-market price by now, guys, we talk here about 1,430%. Congratulations, guys, yeah? Can it even go higher? Yeah, I, I mean, you know, there is, sky is the limit, right? But when we see here where uh, where the price got rejected here in the $1 range, here is one open gap at 98, 89 cents, 98 cents. I have to draw that now in the chart since uh, if this volume is ongoing, guys, we had yesterday 1.5 billion, billion volume. Yeah, we're talking here about a stock with a market capital of $12 million, guys. So how in the world is this possible? This is not po technical, not possible. And I show you why we have the situation now here. So just if you want to know the next price levels, of course, here is one resistance at 61 cents, but very, very thin. This is not a strong resistance here, guys. I would say here is a stronger resistance waiting here at seven, 76 cents. Sorry, I'm also a little bit excited here about this one. Very nice. I love that to see how the market gives and takes, but this is now an ultra squeeze here. And then the bearish liquidity zone, guys, uh, where the short sellers will fight for their life. If we, as I said, if we don't get delisted by tomorrow, is this price box here, guys, between $1.07 and $1.33. So before I dive in here into the uh, Fintel numbers, guys, um, I want to show here also my other short squeeze stocks on the channel. I have a lot of member requests here recently. So I, what I'm doing here is I show a lot of short squeeze stocks. Fire the Future is one of those tickers which I just present here for everybody. But if you also want to see other short squeeze stocks, guys, with huge squeeze potential, you can always check out here the so-called hot stock videos. I upload them or try to upload them always once a week. And all these tickers here, guys, I do it in the same fashion like I did for Fire the Future. I try to predict the squeezes here before they happen based on the technicals and so on. And I have been yeah, a few times successful with this. We had here in... Uh, within eight weeks, we had um, uh, 13 squeezes, guys, which squeezed more than 100%. Nothing is guaranteed, guys. I cannot see the future, of course, right? This is, you know, always a 50-50 chance, but by knowing what the chart is doing, by knowing the indicators, by knowing the technicals, the chance for a squeeze is much, much higher than, in my opinion, 50%, but still, you have to handle it, guys. You have to decide when to buy, when to sell a stock. I'm not a financial advisor, guys. If you want to see these hot stocks and, of course, also other member, member videos, I do here updates on AMC, GameStop, and other tickers, Golden Heaven Group, then you can join in here. The memberships, guys, one uh, way to enter is here the Elite Circle membership on YouTube, and I also have now here the Ultimate Black Belt membership, which is very popular. I have everyday new members here. It's also very quick growing here. So I will limit it, uh, the membership soon, guys, because I cannot handle too many people here. That's why I have to limit the memberships. Uh, but we have still some, you know, free spaces left to go. Both these memberships have uh, access to the hot stocks. When I upload a member video, also the video comments are always enabled. So you can me uh, questions there if you want. Of course, all the other member videos, AMC, GameStop, and so on, are available there. And Patreon has some trading alerts, so I show there also like swing trades and short squeeze alerts. Uh, I s send there a screenshot with the price levels, exit price, entry price levels, stop loss, and so on, guys. But as I said, your decision where you want to buy a stock or sell. Yeah, uh, the links for that, guys, are here in the video description. So now let's check here Faraday Future. As I said, I have no new SEC filing. I I've refreshed it just now, so there is no SEC filing that Far the Future does not get delisted. But what we already have here, guys, let me zoom that out. So we can see, and this is not possible, we have here in short interest for Far the Future of 95.3%, guys. 95% of the float is short. That would literally mean that just 4.7% of the float is held by retail investors which is absolute nonsense, guys. This is just fake. This is, they're doing here naked shorts. And this is the reason, guys, why you can see here squeezes like that. It was, by the way, the same situation for GameStop. GameStop was even more shorted than 100% um, for a few uh, weeks uh, related to Findl. So you can see it's not only GameStop and AMC, guys. We have a lot of highly manipulated stocks here on the market, yeah? And this is one of them. And this is why you see here a squeeze of 1,400%. So when we zoom, uh, scroll down now here, I want to show you that really quick. Yeah, you can see that here we had already, already here that massive short interest. We have also, of course, a very low float. Otherwise, this squeeze would not be possible, guys. So and how in the world is this possible, right? To have a float of 38 million shares. This is the official float. 38 million shares, guys. From this 38 million shares, 95 are short related to Fintel. And then, guys, yeah. 
hold on your seats, we have a volume of 1.5 billion shares. So you can imagine how many synthetic shares have been created here that something like this gets now triggered and this is possible. That's why I say, I mean the short selling zones, you can see one of the spikes was also here, 44 cents. This is also one uh, price area where the short sellers will try to bring the price back down because everything, in my opinion, everything here, especially over $1, guys, that would get completely get out of control. And then, yeah, then we could see here a massive short squeeze for far away future. We could even, even uh, start to go here in the three, four dollar range. Yeah, this is everything possible if the short sellers cannot bring the price down. But unfortunately, if they can do something like that, they always find their ways here to control the price. Yeah, keep that in mind. We gapped, of course, up here two times. And as I said, uh, please be careful. It is possible that the stock gets delisted to date as tomorrow or by Friday or by the beginning of next week. We, I still have no confirmation here that this will not happen. Yeah, guys, that's it for this video. Uh, I also have here a TradingView discount link in the video description. If you also want to use TradingView here by copy the blue fields and all the lines here in the chart, guys, feel free. Use the discount link here. When you click this link, you save $15. I always recommend to go for the plus subscription here. Guys, if you're still holding Faraday Future, I wish you great success. Yeah, <laughs> please take your profits. Yeah, uh, you may make your own decisions, but take your profits. But this is here an absolute massive and awesome squeeze and I wish you nothing but the best and high profits guy. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Arigato gozaimasu. Vielen Dank. Einen schönen Abend. Bis bald. Take care guys. Bye bye.